So what happens when not everyone gets the memo that something is supposed to be racist? Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Nate, loyal YouTuber. If it's your first time here, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel if you like what you hear. Let's get into it. Now, this is comedian Gallagher. Now, for those of you who have never seen Gallagher's act, he used to go around the country smashing things on stage, and then he would end his performance with smashing a watermelon at the end of his act. Is there anyone that particularly does not want me to smash this pig? Well, then let's go ahead and smash! So, the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys, his name is Mike McCarthy. Now, he thought it would be a great motivational tool to get some sledgehammers and start smashing watermelons. Now, to do this justice, let's listen to Jenny Taft. Now, listen to the way she describes how the coach for the Dallas Cowboys motivated the team. Now, this is from a show called Undisputed with Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. Check it out. Way to get his team inspired before, yes, upsetting the Vikings on Sunday. McCarthy brought several watermelons on the trip to Minnesota, and he spent the team's meeting the night before the game smashing them with a sledgehammer like 80s prop comic Gallagher. The scene culminated with Demarcus Lawrence smashing a watermelon with Delvin Cook's picture on it. McCarthy told reporters Monday it's important to have fun. The players were into it. So, Shannon, did you like this as a motivational tactic? Have you done this before? Hell no. At the end of this, Jenny thinks it's a great motivational thing for the team. She even asked Shannon, hey, have you ever done this? But then in comes Shannon Sharp, social justice warrior. This before? Hell no. <laughs> I don't think it's fun. And listen, you're a white America. <clears throat> Anytime you have black people in your presence, Watermelon has a negative connotation. Yep. Watermelon plus white people equals racism? Huh? So for the next 10 minutes or so, Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless go into how watermelons, white people, and black people, you put them all together and it turns out that it's a racist trope. They said it was akin to bringing fried chicken into the room. I don't, I don't think they get the gravity of how ridiculous they look and the connotation that comes along with blacks and watermelons. But guess what? You won a game, so I guess it's all cool. Next thing they let you dig a break. Next thing they're gonna know and sit you out of a table of fried chicken and have at it, fellas. Skip Bayless, who's even white, said, "Hey, look, this is racist. It's obvious." It is, Skip, but the connotation for watermelon I and fried it. chicken never goes away. I agree. It never goes away. Yeah, both. That I, I consider both racist symbols. Thank you. They are, and we just went through a period of Black Lives Matter in which we tried to eradicate all the racist symbols, mostly in the form of statues remaining in this country. Shannon even went as far as to scold the black players who themselves didn't find it any racist trope, didn't feel it was racist. And then you got uh, uh, Joe Looney, mm -hmm. Tony Pollard. They're, they're captains. And then DeMar Along with Sean Lee. So, so two of the three captains yes. are African-American. Did they object? Did they raise an objection? Hell no. Nah. Ain't they... nobody J. Like, oh, yeah, we're going to be motivated. We're going to be motivated. Mm. I, don't, I don't think they get the gravity of how ridiculous they look. Be doing. I'm, so, I'm so disappointed in the black players for the Dallas Cowboys that they would allow this to happen. I'm so disappointed. This ain't about no motivation. Do you, do you get what they done? They used to throw watermelons at black people. So just that we're on the same page, a white coach brings in watermelons for players to smash, and because he's white and some black players, that means it's inherently racist. So poor Jenny. See, she didn't get the memo that anytime a white person touches a watermelon, it's likely going to be a racist act. Motivational tactic, have you done this before? Hey. Now she has to apologize for her racist joy at the beginning of the show because she thought smashing watermelons with sledgehammers was funny. Mm. Well, Only Shannon, the Cowboys. I would like to apologize. I did not know and I feel like I did not set that up appropriately and I apologize for that, but I, I stand corrected and I, I did not know, but I, I, I'm sorry about that and I'm sorry that Mike McCarthy didn't realize it as well. Guys, LeBron's Lakers continue to stack their team in hopes of a repeat. We will tell you their latest deal Next. So I leave it to you. Was this racism? 
or is this some more BS? Comments below. Let me know how you feel. Short video today. I'm out. Peace.